I had a very fortunate upbringing in show business. I started on Broadway on the stage and then I was lucky enough to start doing movies when I was about 14, 15 years old and started writing and ended up selling some scripts by the time I was 18 and ended up doing my own movie called One on One uh, when I was in my early 20s and I started writing music when I was very young to the point where I ended up writing music for uh, like The Breakfast Club and got a gold record, wrote with Carla DeVito, my wife and best friend. Uh, we have gold records that Diana Ross you know, sang our songs. And then finally I got called in and asked if I would audition for Beauty and the Beast for the part of the Beast. And thankfully, um, Jeffrey Katzenberg said, I like that voice. And that voice was mine. Every once in a while when I'm typing and someone comes in the room, I do say, get out, you know, and my kids go running. And Actually, everything was a very natural progression until, until I had my first open heart surgery. And what I did was I had to reinvent myself. And so I started directing television sitcoms. I did 26 straight episodes of Ellen. So I was doing a lot of shows, Friends. What started happening in, in the television business is like this big balloon going up filled with helium. And the helium, let's say, is, is the funny. And something started leaking in it. And suddenly I started to think, wait a minute, we're, we're trying to shoot something that's worthy of being shown to, you know, 15 million people, aren't we? Now, I don't know who stole the funny. And it's like, where's Waldo? You know, I don't want to blame it on anybody. I just want to shoot funny things. But people at home, after they come home from a hard day's work and they want to sit down and they want to laugh and they're not laughing, they should blame it on somebody. So they should be this book. And they can come to their own conclusions. You know, and during all of the insanity, Carla and I would always try to figure out how to get out of LA. It's always in some bucolic, gorgeous place. And here we ended up, uh, you know, in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Um, I still work, I still have to go back and forth, but I want to be with my family. And so I want my family to be in a place where they're, every day they wake up and they see the beauty of the world. That's my boy!